not really planning on recording much of the um, pattern cutting process just because you guys have seen me do it before. It's just the same old thing. So the point of this though is that you, this dumb bench um, forgot underlining. I didn't read the freaking package properly and uh, this is my first time making like a true corset and I forgot underlining uh, which is an important thing for the durability of your corset. So thankfully I had some cotton lying around um, left over as you can see it's very wrinkly because it was shoved in a bag. Um, so I'm using that. It does recommend muslin which is a lot more uh, thicker but this is all I have on hand and so your girl's gonna be using cotton. I'm gonna cut this out and then of course iron it. No one come for me because I am gonna iron it. Oh boy, we finally done. We are finally done cutting out all of the heckin' layers. Um, so we have the underlining. This is the lining. This is the garment fabric. And this is the interfacing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my back hurts so much right now and it's almost 2 a.m. So I'm going to bed. Good night. For underlining, work on a flat surface. Pin underlining to the wrong side of each. <laughs> no. 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 Hello everyone. It is a new day. It's four o'clock and I'm just starting to sew now. Yeah, life. Um, I actually just finished editing that video and it's uploading now, so that will be, hopefully you guys have already seen that yet. Uh, so if you haven't, go watch it, jeez. I have put my corset onto my mannequin, aka King Henry VIII, just because I'm gonna be wearing that, so I figured that my mannequin should best represent my figure during the wear of the costume, the time of the wear of the costume. I do have to change up the pattern um, a little bit because at the back of the corset, uh, well, let's show you guys here. Yeah, see at the back of the corset, it rises up and I don't want that. I want it rising down because she does have a low back. So I got to change that. So I'm going to go do that. <laughs> So pretty much what I'm doing here is I'm taking my corset fabric and the underlining and I'm stitching, or not stitching, I'm pinning the pieces together and then uh, doing a basting stitch along the edge. And then once I have basted all of the corset pieces, or I should say panels, I am ironing them. This makes such a huge difference. I cannot stress enough how much um, ironing your pieces can make such a difference. And then once I iron the basted pieces, I am ironing the interfacing onto the lining, which is a completely separate panel from the underlining and corset fabric. So in my previous clip you could see that I was starting to sew together uh, some of my corset panels and I'm kind of taking breaks as I'm doing that and ironing the uh, seams open um, and this is a crucial part because I will be using the seams as panels for my boning. I feel like in the sewing world there's two very different divided groups of people. Do you sew over your pins or you take your pins out while you sew? Because I know it's it varies from person to person. I personally take my pins out while I sew because it kind of freaks me out. Um, but I know lots of people that just sew right over them. So let me know.
we out here? I'm doing this. Okay, so it looks very sloppy right now on my mannequin and it's poorly pinned, so I'm sorry, okay? But trust me, it doesn't look that bad. So this is the outer fabric here and then underneath is the underlining. So, where are you? Where are you? Here you are. Here is the lining with the interfacing ironed on to all panels. So now I have to do the exact same thing I did to this, to that. So I'm not gonna really show much of that because I'm doing the exact same thing, lining them all up, sewing them together, and uh, yeah, so. Okay, the lining and the main garment piece is done. So on to the next step. Mm, sorry, I'm eating a mint. Okay. Oh my god, bad timing. Too fast for Fiona! Mm -hmm. Here you can see I have done some of the panels for the boning. This side has not been done yet. So, not done. Done. Um, not to uh, toot my own horn, but um, I'm actually pretty amazed at how straight these stitches came out. I was expecting it to look super janky. Um, so, yeah. Aim low and avoid disappointment, for my friends. I'm gonna continue doing that and then hopefully insert the boning. It's already 1.30 and I need to go to bed soon. I have a dermatologist appointment tomorrow at 11. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, I think I might finish the panels and then head to bed. So I'll finish doing that and then good night. Hey guys, so I'm actually still at it. I should be in bed, but I just can't stop. Once you get on that groove, you know, you just want to keep going. Anyways, so here is my corset coming together. So as you can see, I have just at the ends here stitched the lining to the outside of the corset as the um, as the pattern has called for. So it's still still flipping inside out. Okay, this part is kind of hard to explain, so bear with me because I'm awful at explaining things to begin with, but basically now I have bad side facing bad side of my corset, and I have stitched in all the panels um, for my boning, except the panels at the very end of the corset, uh, right where the eyelets or grommets, whatever you want to call them, will be. So I'm ironing that f flat, and now as you can see here, I am um, uh, doing a top stitch um, and creating a uh, panel at the very end for the boning. So this part is pretty self-explanatory, um, so I'm pretty much now just inserting my plastic boning into the little boning sleeves that I've made. Um, and I have cut the boning pieces slightly shorter than the width of the corset, just because I will be uh, stitching along the edge of each side of the corset, and it's a lot easier to not have to worry about uh, jabbing your needle into a piece of plastic boning. <laughs> And now I am top stitching along the top and bottom of the corset to hold the two pieces together. Okay, so uh, this is something. <laughs> it's not my most beautiful creation, but basically um, I just did the first one so I could cut out 20 minutes of me just staring at the camera in confusion, but this is one of the bra cups. Um, 
Your girl got small titties, okay? So I had to like make them a lot smaller and also to the foam bra that I bought was a different shape than the um, pattern bra. So I didn't really explain what I did to make the bra cups um, in the end. So basically what I did is I sewed together my two little teardrop shapes of the lining and corset fabric and then I sandwiched the, the um, foam bra pad in between the lining and the corset fabric um, and then sewed around the foam bra pad and cut off the excess fabric. It didn't really matter what the edges looked like since I would be using double fold bias tape anyways. And thank god because it was pretty messy. <laughs> So, as you can see, I have sewn in, there we go, the bra pads, um, and then I went ahead and just created a little, like, v I cut back some of the boning and just created a little V cut um, in the neck of the bodice, just because it was a really pretty look, kind of that straight, just crrk, but... I do want to try and stay as close to the original design as possible, especially because I'm already like adventuring outside of that. So I'm like, you know, I'm tiptoeing a thin line of like, is this still going to be recognizable? And then using the double folded bias tape that I sewed under the bra cups, um, I used that as tubing and inserted the wires. Eyelets done. Check out these man boys. Now, I'm awful at installing eyelets. Every time something goes wrong and today was not an exception, but whatever, they're not the worst. So yeah, also, I don't know if this is um, just a me problem, but I'm always bleeding on my cosplays while I'm working them. Like, do you see this shit? Ugh. So I gotta pray that comes out because what the heck? Also, uh, 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 <laughs> I lost it, you guys. I was doing these eyelets and I was like struggling. I was like, I can't take this shit anymore. So I just peeled off some of my fingernails. <laughs> good morning, everyone. So, well, I guess good afternoon. Here she is. Um, I was unable to work on it yesterday because I had to go into school and work on stuff. So it's Friday uh, and I work all day tomorrow and Sunday so uh, it's not looking very good. But honestly at this point I don't even know if Halloween plans are actually going through. So I'm just kind of like let's just sew a cosplay. She is, the corset itself is almost done. I have to finish adding the bias tape on the bottoms. I started kind of figuring out like a gem pattern and this is kind of what I've landed on. So I will do that once I finish what I'm going to be doing right now. <laughs> so yeah, I want to work on the over the shoulder straps here that are over the, that tie around the neck. Um, I kind of have an idea of how I'm going to go about doing it, but I also kind of don't. <laughs> I want it to smoothly flow 
from here up instead of just having like a strip just go yeah it needs to kind of come up in a point and almost look like a gradual neckline you feel so I'm gonna be kind of playing around today uh, with some mock-ups um, and yeah hopefully figure something out so let's go my bye my my buys my guys I always tried to say my boys and my guys at the same time and it said my buys so thanks my buys let's go so just with a scrap piece of cotton I kind of did a quick little um you know mock-up look and pinned it so I think I'm gonna go with something like this Please don't roast me for my crusty ironing board, but do you see the difference? Ironed? Not ironed. Ironed? Not ironed. Iron your shit, okay? Or else I'm gonna come for you. We'll come for you and be like, iron your stuff, please. And then I folded the raw edge of the, um, what would you call these? Ties of the corset. Um, upwards and sewed that down in place. And then I hand stitched the neckties onto place. Um, with a herringbone stitch by hand. Um, I found this was the only way I could really do it without there uh, being a seam visible on the front. So I hand stitched it and I found it was pretty secure. Alrighty, so here's the finished corset pre-dazzle. Um, so I'll leave this with you guys for now and I will see you in the last construction video of this series. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Bye 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 bye!